Hey YouTubers, it's Platt, and today we're going to talk about another beer style from Germany. The We're going to talk about the Berliner style uh, Weiss, or Berliner Weiss. Um, to go over the numbers real quick, SRM 2 to 4, IBUs are 3 to 6, ABV is going to go between 2.8 and 3.4, this is definitely a light session beer. But you may find a few examples out there with a slightly higher ABV, and that's true for the one uh, we're going to try today. Uh, Temperature-wise, we're going to serve this about 45 to 50 degrees. A good way to describe a Berliner Weiss is a uh, it's a refreshingly tart white beer with its origins in the city of Berlin. Uh, if you remember our German beer terms, Weiss is German for white, so this is, this is obviously a uh, white beer. Um, if you try this beer over in Germany, uh, oftentimes it's served with a raspberry syrup, and that is to help balance out the kind of tart, sour notes in the uh, beer. Um, this beer, uh, rumor has it, was dubbed by Napoleon's troops in 1809 as the Champagne of the North. Uh, it was a quite popular style over in Europe at the time. Um, the fermentation of this beer is a combination of yeast and lactic acid. It's that lactic acid that gives this beer the sour tart notes that you will definitely uh, catch when you try this. Uh, color wise, it's a straw to pale in color. Very light beers you notice from the SRM. Um, this beer is fairly clear with a little bit of haze and that's because it's uh, unfiltered. Um, this beer has a low to medium, more on the medium uh, carbonation, on the carbonation end. Um, the uh, low ABV tells you that the alcohol is not really detectable in this particular beer. Also not detectable in this beer is any hop aroma or flavor, and hop bitterness is very low. Um, due to the funky kind of uh, ale fermentation, or the ale yeast you got in this along with the lactic acid. You'll pick up some fruity esters but again that ale yeast is battling with the lactic acid so it's, it's not predominant but you will pick up some of those fruity esters. Um, body wise it's a drying body that produces a short to uh, medium finish. Um, food pairing wise we're going to pair this with your real light salads, seafoods, and some of the milder cheeses. Uh, the particular one we're going to try today is uh, a Professor Fritz Bream 1809 Berlin Weiser, Berliner Weiss. Um, that 1809 comes uh, back around again. So let's give her a try. Wow, I got quite a bit more head than I was expecting. Any more bubbles? That uh, mildly surprised me. We'll pour a little more and let her settle down. Let's give her a little nose. Yeah, you get a little bit of that cidery uh, sourness on the nose. Uh, somewhat to like drinking a hard cider or even some of the lambics, but not not anywhere near to that uh, portion. Uh, fairly clear with just, just a slight hint of haze, but not, not much. Um, looks like the carbonation is definitely at least medium, uh, <laughs> even more. Let's give her a try then. Yep, yeah, it's definitely sour. Um, not, not over the top though. Um, On the uh, palate, not so much the cidery notes as I got on the nose, the taste. You can tell this is a beer, this is not a, a cider, but you still get the sour notes. Um, I'm actually very interested now to try this with a raspberry syrup next time. Um, I bet that would go wonderful with this beer, uh, similar to maybe the Frambois that we tried from Belgium. Um, I can also tell why probably Napoleon's troops like this beer. It's very refreshing. Um, like I said, uh, the low ABV, you're, you definitely get no alcohol sensation. And it probably made this drink a really nice 
beer when you're or marching, you know, to the battlefields or whatever. Um, mildly surprised by the head retention. retention. Um, that being said, it is a white beer and there's a little wheat in the mash bill and that uh, wheat, the proteins in wheat help build a, a strong or a head that kind of holds and that's uh, definitely apparent by this beer. Let's give it another little try. Yeah, a little nice crispness to it. Um, not a long finish. Um, not any malt sweetness toward the tongue. It, it hits just, you know, further back a little on the, you know, more mid-tongue. Um, but overall, I, I see that being a pleasant beer. Um, definitely a summertime uh, time beer. And um, like I said, tart, but, but refreshingly so. Uh, they're definitely manageable, and this is something you could definitely get a non-craft beer drinker to try. They would probably like it. And it's probably a, actually a good beer for the girlfriend that doesn't, you know, like beer at all, or would want a cider. You know, if she likes cider, she would probably like this. Well, I hope you like this video. If you did, please subscribe down below. If you have any questions, comments, or concern, you can always leave them in the comment section, or you can contact me on the Twitter page. Well, until next time, bottoms up.